Early the next morning, Laban kissed his grandchildren and his daughters goodbye. Then he set out on his journey back home, while Jacob continued on his own way. Then God's messengers encountered Jacob. When he saw them, he said, This is God's encampment. So he named the place Mahanaim. Jacob sent messengers ahead to his brother Esau in the land of Seir, the country of Edom, with his message. Thus shall you say to my lord Esau, Your servant Jacob speaks as follows. I have been staying with Laban and have been detained there until now. I own cattle, asses, and sheep as well as male and female servants. I am sending my lord this information in the hope of gaining your favor. When the messengers returned to Jacob, they said, We reach your brother Esau. He is now coming to meet you, accompanied by four hundred men. Jacob was very much frightened. In his anxiety, he divided the people who were with him, as well as his flocks, herds, and camels into two camps. If Esau should attack and overwhelm one camp, he reasoned, the remaining camp may still survive. Then he prayed, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac, you told me, O Lord, go back to the land of your birth, and I will be good to you. I am unworthy of all the acts of kindness that you have loyally performed for your servant. Although I crossed the Jordan here with nothing but my staff, I have now grown into two companies. Save me, I pray, from the hand of my brother Esau. Otherwise, I fear that when he comes, he will strike me down and slay the mothers and children. You yourself said, I will be very good to you, and I will make your descendants like the sons of the sea, which are too numerous to count. After passing the night there, Jacob selected from what he had with him the following presents for his brother Esau, two hundred she-goats and twenty he-goats, two hundred ewes and twenty rams, thirty milch camels and their young, forty cows and ten bulls, twenty she-asses and the ten he-asses. He put these animals in charge of his servants in separate droves, and he told the servants, Go on ahead of me, but keep a space between one drove and the next. To the servant in the lead he gave this instruction. When my brother Esau meets you, he may ask you, Whose man are you? Where are you going? To whom do these animals ahead of you belong? Then you shall answer, They belong to your brother Jacob, but they have been sent as a gift to you, my lord Esau. And Jacob himself is right behind us. He gave similar instructions to the second servant and the third and to all the others who followed behind the troves, namely, Thus and thus shall you say to Esau when you reach him, and be sure to add, Your servant Jacob is right behind us. For Jacob reasoned, If I first appease him with gifts that precede me, then later, when I face him, perhaps he will forgive me. So the gifts went on ahead of him while he stayed that night in the camp. Mm -hmm.